Hello Leo and welcome to your weekly reading. I'm currently doing this reading on 12-12. Nice window of opportunity for us to shed some old patterns and old versions of ourselves. So this is a message for Sun, Moon, or Rising in the sign of Leo. Uh, take what resonates for you as these are general readings. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can book through my website. Be the change 333.com. That information is in the description box below this video as well. Um, if it's if you're not resonating with this one, Leo, check with your moon or rising sign or book a private personal reading with me. All right, and as always, Leo. In support of this channel if you like this message please click the like button and if you're not subscribed please subscribe all right Sun Moon rising in Leo what do we have what's going on for Leo currently we have authenticity as the first card out Leo so this could be a challenge of yours or this is something that you're finally starting to show your authenticity your true self your true nature your true feelings all your layers just full transparency this is how we get our needs met as well being true and authentic there's great fear in that for many, as we all tend to get judged and shamed even, ostracized, made fun of, teased for being our true authentic nature. Peace. This card out for Leo. Peace. Authenticity and peace. Definitely the more true and authentic that we are to ourselves and show. Um, the more inner peace, life becomes much more balanced for ourselves. Fairness, ooh, spirituality. Haven't seen this card come out yet. Leo, fairness at the bottom. Oh, I feel that. There's a lot of things that are coming to the surface and you're realizing, yeah, a lot of the injustices that I had to experience have been coming up for me, the fairness. Um, but I realize like how I had not been really fair to myself or authentic to myself in those moments. So it is a mirroring effect. It is a like attracts like situation that's really linked to the spiritual aspects of life here. Let's get, go a little deeper here, Leo, for you. Let's see what's going on. Okay. We're going to start with the Psychic Tarot deck. I did get a new deck this weekend. I will incorporate that into this reading as well for you, Leo. It's pretty interesting how it all ties in. Let's start with authenticity for Leo. What can you tell us? Why did authenticity come out for Leo? Hmm. This is telling me that maybe you weren't even fully aware of all of the truth about yourself or the authentic aspects of yourself until you started to get more spiritual insight, cosmic downloads. This is crown chakra connected to our higher self where suddenly life looks different, feels different, seems different, but much more real and detailed where we can actually see ourselves and the parts that we play at times. It's almost as if you're, it's so surreal right now that you're just kind of going through it and witnessing, becoming the watcher of yourself.
seeing the ways that you've hidden behind a, a mask or, or an ego of some sort for safety, peace. So Leo, you planted a seed a while ago, a seed of intention, of um, a need, as a, a desire that you want in your life. And it, it, it includes peace peace, harmony, balance, inner peace. Well, that seed is beginning to sprout and bloom. So prosperity begins is telling you that this is right around the corner, Leo. If you're not experiencing full peace and inner peace yet, you may still be working through some aspects, old aspects of yourself. But um, it's on the other side of the hump, I keep hearing. It is beginning. Excuse me. Tell me about spirituality for Leo, please. <clears throat> Whew, I just got hit with a hot flash and a <laughs> scratchy throat. Shadow. Ooh. Okay. So overall, you are still experiencing and witnessing and recognizing your shadow aspects. You're doing some shadow work. The universe is with you and it is working to bring harmony, balance, peace into your life, into your connection. So witnessing, recognizing, realizing the darker aspects of ourselves, the shadow aspects of ourselves and how they come into play in life. This is also why sometimes things don't seem very fair. The energy may be reading off of a shadow aspect or subconscious aspect of yourself that this links back to childhood, inner pain um, that had never been dealt with, had never been um, acknowledged even, suppressed, repressed, hidden parts of ourselves. When we bring them forward, we are whole we are authentic spirituality and the sacral chakra so something is working on your sacral chakra sacral chakra is the womb it's just below the belly button area the energy center um linked to our creativity our ability to co-create with the universe also create new life babies our vitality um not vitality our um libido and uh, but more importantly the sacral chakra is linked to um how we connect with others and when the sacral chakra is in balance we are able to be our true authentic selves and be transparent allowing people to see all of us and um there's it's linked to your higher self. It's linked to your, your connection to the ethers, to your spiritual connection. So that is what is changing for you. Let's keep going here for Leo. As you do your shadow work, meaning recognizing that there are hidden parts of ourselves, all of us, that come out and and reveal themselves unbeknownst to us sometimes. Or the shadow can be those dark thoughts that come through and that we latch onto and believe. It can bring a lot of paranoia, anger, rage, sadness, depression. Because these are all aspects of ourselves that have been hurt and needs unmet. And there's a lot of fear, a lot of pain involved there. So we have to be aware that strip away a lot of that past in order to become much more authentic and whole and, tr and true to ourselves. Yeah, and you're putting an end to the painful past. Pain, um, the, the painful memories and thoughts, ways of thinking. There's like a feedback loop that kept going around and around and around. It's not fair. It's not. You know, things are never going to go my way. All that kind of negative self-talk. 
that's ending. It has to end in order for you to be fully authentic. No more playing a facade. No more playing a part. In any case. Oh my, yeah. Under peace. Leo, you had not been in at peace in a situation or overall. This is talking about anxiety, fear, sadness, depression, sleepless nights, insomnia. Definitely not at peace, but you have put it out there over and over again. I just want peace. I just want peace. It's coming. Spirituality. Your values. King of Wands. What's truly important to you? What do you value in this world, in this life? Love, nature, wholeness, wellness, well-being, connection. Linked to the spiritual, which is linked to our feelings. We have to get in touch with our feelings, in touch with what we do desire and need in life. And the King of Wands. King of Wands is ready to take some action. King of Wands is ready to go for it now be mindful it's also under shadow and under fairness so what what is the drive behind the actions that you take in life leo is it anger is it fear is it competition are you allowing the the mind to run the show it's just so you can get your way well, let's see we'll dive one more layer into this for leo But the old versions of you that played these different parts, they're not linked to your authenticity, your wholeness. And you're realizing that you're having deep, deep experiences and realizations that are um, telling you this, showing you this. You may even have dreams that are very vivid and real. Or just a lot of insight. Even just after speaking to somebody or, or, you know, however it comes to you. Knight of Wands. Leo, you want to appear like you can take charge of situations. Again, this is two sides of the coin, right? Knight of Wands um, can get shit done, for sure, but um, again, you want to make sure, and I think that's why we're stripping away old versions of ourselves, putting an ending to that, because maybe in the past you're realizing that um, the way you went about taking care of situations or getting things done, it wasn't coming from an authentic place, it wasn't coming from the heart, and it was coming from an egoic state of being that may have um, impressed others, but things aren't working the way they used to anymore. You're realizing this. And we have to be mindful of how other people are impacted when we um, dis make dis decisions to take action or change or, or say it. I'm not really getting say something, but also with your words. You're recognizing that when I do something, I have to do it from a place of authenticity because otherwise it does not work out in my benefit. You might get linked in or stuck into some other energy that you do not want to be in. Tell me about peace for Leo. Hermit wanted to come out. And you may be taking some time to yourself to reflect on more of what's coming through for you or more of how you're feeling and your experiences here so that you're not just flying by the seat of your pants, reacting to situations. 
five of swords, basically what I'm saying, you know, reacting to situations and causing more harm than good. The house is burning down here. It's like, burn down the house. I, <laughs> it, this is like winning at all costs, no matter who gets hurt, no matter, no matter the consequences. These are old layers of yourself, Leo, that are being realized by you, recognized by you, but are also coming to an end. They, they are the source of your anxiety and your um, insomnia. The sun, spirituality. So when we connect, and the fool at the bottom, when we connect to... The energy of well, our spiritual, our higher self, when we connect to nature, when we connect to the heart, when we connect and, and recognize what is really important here in life, um, it illuminates our true life force energy, our true vitality, our true happiness, the sun. And the fool at the bottom is talking about having the trust and faith to just change com change directions completely in life and going in the direction that feels right no matter what's going on outside of you he's about to walk over this cliff there's a volcano exploding he's like that's okay i know what i'm doing i trust i trust that no matter what is going on outside of me that as long as i'm linked and i'm connected at the heart that Things will always end up working out for me. Knight of Wands, below that, yeah. You, you, this is something that maybe you've been on the fence for a while. This great change. Um, you've had realizations, but up until now, now you have a deep realization of what needs to change within yourself. That you need to bring out all of your authentic authenticity within yourself for your own inner peace for balance to come into your life I'm going to get an advice card for you to wrap this one up eye on the prize I keep hearing you you know what it is that you want you've had a taste of it and you feel it you know what it feels like keep walking towards the sun keep walking towards the light have faith have trust Leo happiness again happiness 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 and happiness that's Leo I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path Huh. So follow how you feel. If you feel happy, truly, authentically happy, you're in the right direction. You're going in the right direction. We have to learn how to follow our feelings. And it looks like you were following the feelings in the past through the mind. And all it brought was pain and more pain and a lot of nervous system disorders I'm hearing. A lot of conflict needing to be right all the time, proving yourself. So that part, phase of your life, Leo, is coming to an end. It's coming to an end. And um, you can welcome this new, bright future into your life. So that is the message that I have for you this week, uh, Leo. So thank you again. If you like this video, please click that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. All right, thank you. Take care. Bye.